Good morning guys, I hope everybody's okay. Um, welcome to Dan's Haunted Cottage again. I think this is probably the ninth video that I've made for the channel. And today I'm going to take you to what is reputedly and reportedly Hertfordshire's most haunted village. It's actually a little place called Datchworth. It's very pretty. Um, I've had one or two experiences there myself. One in particular which I shall be describing and telling you about today. And it was in the graveyard. I think the church is called St Mary's in Datchworth. If it's not, I'll let you know what it is when I get there. But uh, I'll be doing the first report from there. There's also a road there which is, or used to be, uh, used for transporting bodies. They believe it's, to be honest, they call it the they call it the coffin road or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's something like that. It's got that kind of uh, very very sort of um, gothic -y name to it or term to it but it's um well i'll tell you a little bit about more about that when we get there because i don't want to ruin it all and tell you everything before we actually arrive at our destination but it should be a good one um as i said there's a couple of places there's also a road there i'm not sure if we'll get to do the road today because it's even though it's a country road a it's really slippy slidey and snowy and icy out there and b um you can't really pull over, certainly not safely. So we'll have to, we'll have to work that one or play that one by ear and see what happens as we get this. Oh, that was a bit bumpy. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what we can see when we get there. Until then, I will speak to, see, speak to you. Hi guys, so I'm here. I'm in Datchworth, and that building behind me, that beautiful looking church, is um, Datchworth, Datchworth's main church. That's St Mary's, I believe. And um, the thing about St Mary's is it's quite down. This particular area is, is, is as I said early, earlier video, um, it's well known as the most haunted village in Hertfordshire. This is Datchworth. And um, the thing about Datchworth is it's got a lot of paranormal activity going on here. And this is just one of the places that I brought you. And I brought you to this place first because it has a special significance for me because this is where I had... Um, this is where I had an actual experience myself and uh, I used to work with a group many years ago and um, we did quite a few investigations around the village of Datchworth and you know we came up with some quite good what we thought was quite good evidence and um, one night we decided to make our way back it's probably I say one night it's probably about three or four in the morning actually we were making our way back from the road up there that I'll show you later uh, along the side of the church and it's reputed that there is, or it's renowned, that there is a spirit that haunts this cemetery, this graveyard, this churchyard, and it's a shadow. And lots of people have seen it, they've logged it, they've recorded it, not on video or film, but they've certainly recorded it as, a, as data. So it's significant. Now, we were coming along here about, as I say, about half three, three o'clock, half three in the morning, one morning after doing the road up there, investigating the road up there, and I was in front, I was leading the team, and um, all of a sudden from over, there's a hedge just there that I'll show you in a moment, from over the hedge I could actually see what looked like the outline of a person, it was a very dark outline of a person, it was shadowy, but I would have expected nothing else because it was that early in the morning. And the first thing that struck me was that, well what's somebody else doing out that early in the morning? And uh, as I got closer to it, I noticed that it kind of drifted, it was weird, it drifted back through and over the hedge and then back into the cemetery. So we decided to do a bit, but we were going to do an investigation in here anyway, but obviously that kind of whet our appetites even more. So we came in here, we didn't actually have any more experiences that evening, but I have been here um, on other occasions. Uh, I came here one, I think it was New Year's Eve, and I came here on a Christmas Eve as well and we use something called Novelus. Now a Novelus is a box that what it does is it's got a set of words, it's got a dictionary of words that are actually programmed into it and the Novelus is, well, I thought it was quite cool, lots of people knock it, lots of people say it's not that great, lots of people say it's, it's like any piece of equipment I find that the more you use it, the more you work with it and the more you become used to it then the more results you seem to get from it. I don't know why, but it seems to happen with a lot of the paranormal equipment that, that I use. And other investigators have said the same. Anyway, the Ovilus has got a dictionary of words in it. I think, I'm not sure how many words are catalogued into it, but there's quite a few. 
And uh, what these spirits are said to do is they're said to actually manipulate the environment and the energies in the environment and basically feed it through the machine and then it comes out in a series of words. It's only meant to be single words that come out, but we noticed that the more often that we used it, then what it was doing, it was not only breaking its bank, so it was coming up with words that weren't even programmed into it, but it was also coming out with full sentences. So that was quite good in itself. And then we noticed that a lot of those sentences and a lot of those extra words were relevant to the places that we were investigating. So we used it here and we heard the word for. Um, now that in itself is, is, is just a word, as you know, but the significance about it was, or is, that I believe that somebody was building or fixing the church roof here and they actually fell from the top up there and um, sadly passed away. Now, I'm not saying that is significant to that accident, but you know, it just it's just a, a word that, that, that came up that was seemed to be relevant because we were underneath the tower at the time. So you can make of that what you will yourself. But I, as I say, I'm not one of them type of people that jump to, to the conclusion that everything is paranormal. So yeah, it's a beautiful old church. Uh, I think it's not, um, so it's, 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 it's an ancient building. Um, it's very beautiful. And the cemetery itself, I mean, you can see now that, it, I mean, that's a real Christmas card sort of scene behind me, isn't it? And um, yeah, you can see how beautiful it actually is. The, the graveyard itself is, is quite big and we've investigated quite a lot of the graveyard. Um, it said, people say, well, you know what? Cemeteries aren't haunted because at the end of the day, it's not significant to the people. They want to go somewhere where they had a good life, where they enjoyed living and they had lots and lots of fun and, and, and you know, loved ones. Well, that is the case, but you know what? There's also a saying that, or there's also an idea, a theory, that the first person that's interred in a cemetery is the one that becomes the guardian of the cemetery. Um, whether there's any truth in that or not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the thing. I mean, it's it's, it's a beautiful cemetery, it's, as cemeteries go, but it's a beautiful churchyard, and uh, the history of it is just just phenomenal. Like all of these old buildings, these old churches in, in Great Britain, it's just fantastic. So yeah, so that's the that's the story about this, this churchyard, and uh, we're going to go on now to a road. I'm going to walk down there in a minute and I'm going to tell you a little story about the road. It's also, there's an apparition that's seen there. It's quite often throughout the years. I think it's probably a place memory. Uh, I don't think it's an actual intelligent haunting. I think it's just something that's gone on there. Something particularly nasty, particularly horrible, particularly sad. And it's just got absorbed into the energy of the environment and the surroundings. So we'll go there in a second and we'll come back to speak to you soon. Just want to give you some footage of the countryside, the beautiful Hertfordshire countryside. And as I say, this is the fields around Datchworth. Absolutely beautiful. And there, that tree line, is where we're going to. And that's where I'm going to tell you the next story. So guys, this is the road that I was going to bring you to. And the apparition that appears here, and has appeared here quite a few times over the years, and it's still seen to this day, I believe, is the apparition of a cart with horses. It's a horse-drawn cart, obviously, and it's going down this road. There's a man by the side of it, I believe, and what's happening is he's got a cart full of bodies, and there's arms and his legs sticking out of it. And as I say, this is Coffin Road, or Funeral Road, I can't remember what the name of it is at the term, but it's one of those, um, one of those terms. And um, personally, I believe it's residual. It's just an energy, it's just a place memory, it's something that's happened there and it's become ingrained in the environment due to the severity of the situation. And um, the thing about this as well is I also think there's probably it's very, very The car just pulled off, but this is it. This is the road. So, as I say, I'm guessing this is from the plague era um, when people were collected from their homes by a cart drawn by horses and a man, 
and I think they were they were coming this direction, I believe. So obviously they were coming up towards the cemetery. Whether there's a plate pit here in this field, I'm not too sure. I couldn't really tell you. I'll have to look that up and research it and see if there's anything um, associated with the plague in this field, whether there's a pit or not. But this is the road. This is the road itself, the lane I should say. And this is the lane that uh, has all that paranormal history going with it. So there's lots of other things as well. There's another lane around here. I can't take you to that today because unfortunately the situation is that um, it's very, very snowy as you can see, as you know, and it's hard to make access or get access to it. Uh, but that road has a lady, she walks towards you and she's stooped, or she seems to be stooped. Um, and when you get closer to her, if you look, it's not that she's stooped over and you can't see her head, it's that she hasn't got a head. So we'll have to go and have a look there a little bit later. Maybe not today, but certainly at another point because it's too cold today. My hands are freezing. I'm not even sure if you can hear this because of the wind. I'm hoping you can, so we'll just have to go with it. Silly me, I never brought any kind of um, mic out with me, so that's down to me. So yeah, that's just a little bit about the history and the most haunted village in Hertfordshire which is Datchworth, and it's also a very, very pretty village. In actual fact, if you get the opportunity, come out here and have a look. It's very, very nice. It's lovely. So I hope that's okay, guys. Uh, take care of yourself. Don't go out like me if it's snowing. I've had to come out because I've had to do drops with the children and all sorts of things at the school. Um, but apart from that, I really, really wouldn't be out. So I'm going to make my way home now. I've got a warm coffee in the car. I'm going to go and enjoy that. And uh, yeah, just take care. Be well, everybody, and hopefully I will, well, I will, I will speak to you at a later point. Bye now, guys. Well, I got that wrong. It's not St Mary's. I'm mixing it up with another church. This is actually All Saints Church, Datchworth. So there you go, the last look at it. Very beautiful. And that's All Saints Church, Datchworth, and not St Mary's, like I'm saying. So there you go. So hopefully, well, we'll see you later from a very, very embarrassed ghost hunter. Bye, guys.